Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of the Summer 15. We are doing our second book review of the summer and it is Running With Scissors by Augustine Burroughs. To start off with, as always, I will be sharing with you my custom book cover for Running With Scissors by Augustine Burroughs. And here it is. Let me know what you think down in the comments. There's also a link down there to bring you to the actual photo of the photo of the photo <laughs> the link to the photo and yeah let me know what you think down in the comments now I have a history with running with scissors that is not so pretty I guess um, I had watched the movie a long time ago when it first came out which probably wasn't that long ago it was probably like 2007 but I, I didn't like it I remember I, I didn't like the characters at all and I'm sure if I watched it now, it would be completely different, but back then it just, it didn't appeal to me. But after reading the book, I love the storyline. Um, the way that Augustine sort of writes is a little childlike and whimsical, which I, I respond to, you know? So I, I dug it. You know, there were a lot of themes in there that I could relate to and, you know, him growing up. Um, I definitely put myself in his shoes a lot. You know, we had a lot of things in common. Having to deal with a crazy mother myself, I... No, I'm kidding. I don't have a crazy mother, but um, I, I've read his previous works and also his brother's work, so I kind of feel like I know his mother, and I, I really wanted her to succeed in life, and, you know, I wanted all of his siblings to just get their acts together and stop being so kooky, but... At the same time, the kookiness made the story interesting, so, I don't know. It's nice at the end, you know, it talks about all the things that they, you know, are doing now and, and all of their successes in life, and, you know, it's nice to know that even though you have a crazy upbringing and it's very unstable, that you can grow up and make something of yourself despite your parents, and I think that's a really important message. So I think I'm going to give the movie another try. I've, I've gone ahead and downloaded it. And I'll let you know next week because I I want to give it the benefit of the doubt because maybe I was just annoyed with something else that day and I just didn't give it the chance that it deserved. I would definitely recommend this book as just a memoir in and of itself because it is a great story. Um, but also anyone who's questioning or, you know, having issues figuring out who they are, I think it's a good scope. You know, it puts a lot of things in perspective, and him as a character, he really knows who he is, and I think that's important for people to, you know, internalize and, and figure out who they are before making themselves what they believe that other people think that they should be. So definitely read this book if any of that applies to you, or if none of it does, then just read it just because it's a good book. Next up on our Summer 15, we are reading The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabosky. I think I'm saying that right. It might be Chabosky. Um, it's deemed a modern classic, and it's interesting so far. It's not at all what I thought it was going to be, but the, one of the reasons that I'm reading it is because it's becoming a movie with Emma Watson in it, and she's amazing. So anything with Hermione, I'm going to give it a go. That's just That's just how it is. So I will keep you guys posted. I love you, and I'll see you in seven days. All right. Bye, guys.